Now, for instance, another example is the LRT. We are now uh, having the uh, public inspection exercise for three months as required by the law. Since 19 August until this morning, uh, I think we have already received 2,924 uh, public feedback in the various uh, display centers. And they are required to to fill up the the, the 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 box whether you support or you object. So out of the two thousand nine hundred and twenty four, two hundred two thousand eight hundred and fifty supported, and seventy four opposed. This seventy four percent constitute two point five three percent. So you can see that um, by and large, uh, the people welcome this project. And we take note of this uh, concern of the people. Once we work out all the um, details, the financing uh, of the project, which is again a very challenging task, because we we came in to propose the project without sufficient funding from the state. I don't think the state can can finance all this project, but our a financing model is through the uh, reclamation land revenue to to pay for uh, the project but then there is also the the what you call bridging gap you know? uh, land the sea take a few years to be reclaimed to to uh, turn in the revenue so meanwhile if you start the LRT I'm sure the people want the LRT to start uh, where do you get the the money to pay the contractor for the work done. So all these are still being worked out and we are optimi optimistic that uh, by second half of next year we will see much, even much more progress. But meanwhile one of the road project that was awarded much earlier to the Zenith Consortium, we believe uh, we are working on the, the contract uh, construction uh, uh, agreement and we should probably hit the ground by October, November to roll out the Lobo Raya Lim Chong Yu to Bandar Baru Aitam uh, bypass road.